Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. It has been quite some time since I did a short story unboxing, but it finally is here. This is probably my transitional box into spring, so I'm really excited about this. I did click the checkout button once I was notified that it was shipped because I wanted to take a peek at what I was going to get. And I'm really excited to take a look and finally try these pieces on. So for those of you who are curious about Short Story, it is a styling service for petite women who are 5'4 and under. It's really easy to start. You just go online, you create an account, take a style quiz. This quiz is gonna help Short Story determine your size, your style, and your budget. This box is gonna have five hand-picked items that's specialized just for you. There is a $25 styling fee, but that goes towards any of the items you decide to keep. You'll have five days to decide which items you wanna keep for yourself and which items you were wanting to send back. And when you're ready, you return everything back with the free prepaid label. As you guys know, I did take a break on a lot of things the past year. I did switch jobs and then I also slowed down my spend on shopping and unboxings. I'm trying to do them less frequently just because it gets really expensive. Let's open this up. I'm going to unbox this. You can go on the app to update the frequency and how often you get your short story box. You can even skip months and that's what I did. So I just went ahead, re-logged in and requested a box. You can also just request box on demand. You don't have to frequently get them every month. The most you can get a short story box is once a month. Here is my box. You get your prepaid bag, like I said, and then your Oh, this is new. They added in some short story stickers. I love this. I'm going to put this on my Hydro Flask. So you get one of these pamphlets. In the back, it's going to have a calculation of everything in your box, including um, your $25 styling credit. So that's going to subtract it from any of the items you decide to keep. You're going to have an itemized page here so you can see the price of every piece that you're trying on. And then on the inside, you're going to get a description of all the pieces, which is really cute. And then you're going to get a letter from your stylist. It looks like my stylist Tracy has watched some of my videos before. So hi, Tracy. You're Gafey. Welcome to chapter 20 of your short story. I'm Tracy and I'm so excited to be styling you. I just watched your Shop My Stash for Spring 2020 and filled this box with your ideal spring 2023 items. For your love of micro florals, I snagged the midi dress that you can dress up with wedges, wear with sandals, or throw on your docks for a hint of 90s grunge. I was inspired for your love of pink. The v-neck jumpsuit will keep you comfortable and stylish, and it has pockets. Yay! I do love pockets, <laughs> especially in my dresses. Going with that 90s trend and staying budget friendly, as you mentioned, grab for the Dreamline tee. Wear it loose or front tucked with an Absolution Girlfriend jeans with embroidered details that you love. For a must have staple to wear with your jeans, skirts or shorts, you'll love the square neck bodysuit. Wear this with your skirt from Last Box or Box 11 belted pants. What would you like to see next? Please let me know your thoughts and enjoy. That's so awesome. Yay, Tracy. So great to meet you. Thank you for uh, shouting me out on my videos. I really do appreciate that. And I'm not just saying this because of the shout out. Short story boxes have always been very personalized just for me. And um, I've had my stylist like really take the time to know me, where I live, and what kind of pieces to add to my boxes. So it's a nice welcome back note. And this is what my packet looks like. First piece here is a square neck bodysuit. It's from Dress Forum in the light mauve color, size small, retailing for $38. I'm going to say I'm very picky with bodysuits, but I do love them. So if I get one that fits me well, especially if this one fits me well, I'm definitely going to keep this. So this is really cute. Love this color. It almost has like that kind of silky fabric to it, but it's really thick and really good quality. And then it's kind of like a G-string button. Uh, style at the bottom. Okay, so the next thing here is the Dreamland Florida Basic Tee it, by If She Loves in the color Dusty Rose. It's in a medium petite, fits like a small petite, and this one is retailing for $33. Yes, this is so my jam right here. I love the boxy kind of cropped but not super cropped tee. This is a nice quality tee as well. 
and love the color because I love my pinks. The thing that I love from short stories, they don't just shop for specifically petite items. They find pieces that fit petite women nicely. I've gotten a lot of pieces that I bought from short story that I just absolutely loved. The, they were basically clothes that ran a little smaller and shorter that just fit me nicely. It's really nice that they incorporate pieces like that as well. I am really excited to try this guy on. <laughs> I have two pieces from Geely. The first one is a short sleeve midi dress and it is the navy multi ditzy color and this is a size small retailing for $64. Another thing that I love about short story is that they incorporate these other up and coming brands and brands that may not be super known. And I love that because that just means they're gonna give you pieces that aren't over the top expensive. And that's usually one of my downsides to some of these uh, styling services is that they tend to partner up with brands, which is fine, but a lot of times they partner up with brands that are most famous because it appeals to most people. I'm on this kick of trying to save a little bit more money this year, so I really wanna stick to that. Geely is a brand that I discovered from Short Story and I'm really happy about that because I did find some really cute pieces from Geely. Tracy mentioned, notice that I love micro floral prints and I do love midi dresses. So I'm really excited about trying this guy on. Really cute. I see this being a really fun spring piece. So now I have here the other piece from Geely. This is the sleeveless v-neck crop jumpsuit in the color lavender. I am just loving the lavender colors right now. This one is in a size small petite, retailing for $78, which isn't bad for a jumpsuit. And I do love the wide leg on this. This is really cute. And there are pockets, like she said. Did this one have pockets as well? So this one didn't have pockets, but that's okay. I'll survive. So cute. I'm wondering if this is the front or the back. I'm assuming this is the front. Nope, the pockets go this way. Yes, so this is the front. So I'm excited to try this on. This would look so cute. This could be dressed up or down and so cute for spring. So yay, really excited to try this guy on. Okay, last but not least, I did get a pair of jeans from Democracy. This is the Absolution Girlfriend and Rolled Cuff Hem in the color light blue, size too petite, retailing for $89. I love embroidered jeans, love that. I love the Absolution jeans from Democracy because it has this stretchy fabric on the waistline and it just adds so much more comfort to the pair of denim. And I run a little bit more heavy in the waistline here so I do have a bit of a muffin top. So the extra stretch is really nice because my body shape is that way. It's hard for me to find a perfect pair of jeans, but with this, it really gives me that perfect fit. So I really do love the democracy jeans. And it has the floral embroidery, which is really popular and really on trend right now. So yay. I'm super excited about spring because I love spring clothing. I love the girliness of it. Of course, it doesn't have to be super girly, but I'm that way. It's 39 degrees right now here in Washington, and it's gloomy, and it's raining all day, and it, we just went through a snowstorm. So um, it's pretty ironic that I'm trying these on. It's definitely on schedule for the spring weather. You want to be ready and have everything before spring hits. You don't want to be purchasing things during spring. By the time you purchase them, then you're definitely late to being able to enjoy these spring pieces. Anyway, I'm rambling so much. If you want to see what these pieces look like, I'm gonna try them on, so stick around. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the Geely dress. I was really excited to try this one on first because this is so my lane. It is a midi dress that fits me really nicely. So like what I was saying earlier, they find pieces that really fit us petite women nicely. I'm 5'1", and this hits me at the perfect spot. Of course, this could probably be a normal size dress for taller women. And for us shorties, this is definitely a midi and I love it. It's super comfortable. It's got a nice flowy, thinner fabric and it's stretchy as well. I love 
the sleeves on this it covers most of my shoulder just the way I like I tend to not like seeing a lot of my shoulders on certain kind of short sleeves then it also has a slight puffiness to it but because of the fabric it's not super exaggerated which is nice and then it has a nice uh, v-neck line here and I think that's perfect it's not too high up and not too low either and it's a navy blue base with micro floral prints and I do love the micro floral prints and then right at the waist here there is some elasticity there's slits on the side here on both sides they go up pretty high but not so high where it's you know questionable and with this dress I got some real vintage vibes with this dress so I paired it with some loafers like black loafers you know I thought it just looks so cute because this is probably the way I would wear this as an everyday piece it's very vintage it adds to that vintage feel to this dress at least those are the kind of vibes I'm picking up from this. It's really comfortable and I feel good wearing this. I don't feel uncomfortable at all. I feel cute and it's just perfect for spring because you can definitely layer over this dress as well because of the lighter fabric. And I did try it with some slip-on clogs as well. And these are more of like an open toe. And I thought this looked super cute as well. And it's just a different look to it, but also still has that vintage, you know, touch to it. And I just really love it with the clogs. I think it's so cute. There's so many options to match with this dress and I really do enjoy that. So um, I just started looking at my shoes and just trying them on with this and a lot of them match really well. So depending on my mood, you know, I have so many options to match as far as the shoes that go with this. So here is the Geely jumpsuit. This is in the color lavender. So cute. I just am in love with the lavender color and I'm really loving this jumpsuit. This kind of rayon fabric is giving me more of like a dressy vibe. But because of the lighter shade, I think it's very doable during the day. So to kind of casual it up a little bit, I wore it with some platform espadrilles. And these are my Castaner ones, I believe, or actually, no, these are my Saludos uh, espadrilles. And I thought it was really cute. And then to match and go with the shoes and tie it all in together, I wore it with like a nice spring hat. I did get this one from Reformation on clearance. But I thought it looks so classy together. And I do love the pockets on this. This was also really easy to put on. This fabric is very similar to the first dress. It has that stretchiness to it. I wasn't sure if this was going to complement my body type, but I'll have to say the ruching in this mid section here really gave me more of that hourglass figure, which I really do appreciate same modest V neckline. It's got thicker sleeveless straps. The back runs much lower which I think is really cute. I was a little confused about whether I should wear that in the front, but you, you definitely can if you want, but the pockets really limit that. So I do love the size of pockets that come with this. It also has that nice flowy fabric that's cool for the spring, but you can also wear this during the summer because it has a really nice cooling fabric to this. This is definitely one that you want to wear during the warm weather. I just really enjoy this fabric but really cute piece here okay so this is the bodysuit from dress forum this is how i styled it i kept my same espadrilles on and wore some high-waisted wide leg denim jeans and paired it with a vintage Dooney and Burke. And again, this look gave me some vintage vibes. I really am feeling the 70s. This is how I would style it. I think it's just so cute. I get a little weary with bodysuits, but after putting this on, I feel like this bodysuit really does complement my body type as well. Again, short story tends to do this to me. <laughs> where I really do love the pieces they give me. It just fits my body so nicely and it makes me feel good about myself. I feel like I'm not popping out of it and I feel like it just molds my body really nicely and it is very comfortable.
So I'm gonna put this down so you guys can see. It's this nude color. It has a sheen to this fabric. It's double layered. I would be a little bit more picky with your underwear. You could see the lining on your underwear definitely because of the fabric it is, but it does fit really nice. It holds my belly in really nicely. And of course the high-waisted jeans definitely made that even more you know, fitting and looked more flattering, I think. And then it's got some nice thicker straps. And then this is what the back looks like. It's much higher up top, but it feels good on and it's comfortable. And that's all I care about. So this is definitely a win-win for me as far as the bodysuit goes. And I am surprised at how much I really like this on. Okay, so here are the last two pieces. This is this cropped boxy pink tee from If She Loves. Love this top. And here are the Democracy jeans. I love this. This fits so nicely. This is in the too petite, and I feel so good in this. It fits really good on the waist, just like how I thought it would. I would say it's a mid-rise, because I can still see my belly here. Um, and uh, it is more of a kind of faded, lighter, slightly grayish wash, which I enjoy very much. And then it has the dark floral embroidery on the sides, which is so pretty. I just paired it with my floral Supergas from Love Shack Fancy, and I think this is such a cute staple everyday outfit for spring, and I just really enjoy this right now. This is something so comfortable, I can throw on and still look really cute and stylish at the same time. So those are all the pieces that I received. Uh, of course, I have to narrow everything down because I can't buy everything. Short Story always does this to me. I'll start off with my box and get very excited because of the pieces that I get. But after trying everything on, no lie, this is for real, I always am even more surprised and amazed at how these pieces fit on me, which makes the items in this box even better so they do such a good job with that they give me such a hard time with picking my pieces and I think that's a good thing and it could be bad because I could spend more than I should but anyway I'm gonna narrow these things down to my first piece here is gonna be my go back piece and this is the sleeveless v-neck cropped jumpsuit from Geely. So many elements about this piece that I love. I absolutely love the color. I love the fit of it. It was very slimming and it had these great pockets and it's very hard to say no to this. But the reason why I'm sending this back is I have so many jumpsuits that I haven't gotten a lot of use out of. And knowing that, I can't say that I could invest in this right now. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and send this one back. The next go back for me is the Democracy Jeans. Again, Democracy Jeans is a great pair of jeans. I have a few of them already. I would highly recommend this. If you guys have a short story box and or wanting to, I would request this pair. This is such a great pair here. It's very on trend because of the floral detail. It fits so nicely and you will get your money's worth. It's definitely an investment piece, but you're gonna love them and wear it till there are holes in them. Um, but because I have so many jeans already that are probably very similar to this and I have a few democracy ones already with uh, the floral detail. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass on this for now. The piece that I'm on the fence about is this Geely dress. Love the fit of this. It's just such a nice comfortable dress and um, it is in the navy blue color, but it does have the micro floral prints. The navy blue color is a color that I don't usually gravitate to, but I'm very intrigued by this piece. I might try this on again to try and style with more of the pieces that I have, but I really do love this piece and I'm leaning towards keeping this, but I'm still on the fence. So, um, help me decide. <laughs> but I really did love so many things about this. I feel like this is a great piece to just pull out in the warm weather and look really cute at the same time. And you don't have to do much to style this because it's a standalone piece. So um, I think I might be leaning towards keeping this piece here. So I might need your help on this one, guys. <laughs> the for sure keeps for me 
our basic pieces. So the first one is this If She Loves Crop Tea. Duh, I have to keep this. It's a really nice soft pink, totally the color that I gravitate to, um, and I love the fit of it. It's got that boxy fit and cropped fit to it, and it's not too cropped, so I can wear some high denim jeans with these, and this would look so cute, and it's a basic piece that I will pick out of my closet and wear a lot, and I can definitely style this with so many pieces that I currently have. Because of that, it is a definite keep for me. The next keep for me is definitely a surprise. It's this bodysuit here from Dress Forum. I absolutely love this. I was a little weary because jumpsuits are quite difficult to pick out because they tend to not fit right all the time. You know, like we all have different sized torsos and some bodysuits run longer and some shorter. So it's just a hit and miss for me. I don't have a lot of them. So when I find one that fits, I have to jump on this. I love the color of it. The nude color is just really pretty and classy. It's just another basic piece that I don't have a lot of in my collection. So I have to pick this up. And the price is also really nice, $38 for a really good quality jumpsuit. So definite keep for me on this. Overall, this box was amazing. Thank you, Tracy, for styling me. I loved all the pieces in here um, and I'm just super grateful. Like Short Story does so well with finding pieces that fit my body type well and I've just had a really good experience with Short Story. If you guys were interested, I'll make sure to link my discount code down below for you guys. You guys could get a discount off your first box and of course I want to disclose to you guys I benefit from that as well. Um, if you guys wanted to support someone else, definitely do that. Just make sure you use a discount code. I'll also link everything down below for you guys with all the pieces that I got and tried on today, including my stats if you guys wanted to compare. Um, and if you guys really enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I love to read those comments and leave me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. You guys have an amazing day. I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.